company is called Triptary. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, my name is Abhishek and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Tripnary. Um, just a quick question for you guys. How many uh, of you are planning travel right now? In the near future. Uh, how many of you have a budget in mind when you travel? Yeah. So, uh, I'm like that too. Uh, you guys are not alone. Uh, but typically when I travel, I'm looking for a specific budget. I have, you know, I want to spend $300 to go somewhere on a memorial day, for example. So. What happens today, if you look at any of the online travel agencies, Expedia, Kayak, um, Orbitz, all of these uh, websites, apps, basically provide you a travel search experience that's pretty antiquated. Uh, travel is one of the first uh, commerce industries to have gone online, uh, but the travel search experience today is exactly like it was back in 1995. So uh, things haven't changed much. And uh, that's where Triple comes in. Uh, we actually help you find great places to fly based on how much you want to spend. So let me quickly switch over to the demo. I think it's going to be pretty small, um, but let me see if I can figure out a way to get this to work better. And Abhishek, there's also a holder for your microphone if you'd like. Oh, here? Yeah. Uh, if you like it. Yeah, sure. No. Okay. Um, I hope you guys can see this. Um, sorry if you can't, but. Uh, so basically what we do is we uh, curate uh, places based on travel passions and interests. So uh, up top is places to go in 2016. This is from New York Times. Uh, Unwind in Sunny Bliss. So this is a collection of beaches that we curated. Uh, romantic getaways, uh, hiking trails, nightlife, uh, ski towns, uh, spas. So we have a bunch of curated collections uh, that you can uh, open up. So I'm just going to go to a beach collection because that's what I'm planning to do uh, sometime soon. So here in the beach collection, you'll be able to see uh, it shows you prices for all these different places side by side on the map. And this is uh, coming from San Francisco. So on the top right side, you can see that my home airport is set to San Francisco. Um, and for each of these places, uh, I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit. So let's say if I wanted to go to Miami area, I can tap on that. And uh, it shows me the price. And it also shows me a bunch of places that I can visit there. So it's slowing up, the internet is a little bit slow here. Yeah? So it gives me recommendations of uh, some interesting beaches I can check out in the Miami area. And at the bottom, there's a price associated with uh, getting there. And I can tap that, and it takes you to one of our travel partners for you to complete the booking. So basically, it helps you find great places without you having to search for it. Uh, I'm just going to exit out of this. Uh, here, I uh, also wanted to show you that you have a budget slider, so you can actually say, I want to go somewhere for, let's say, you know, under $800, and it gives you, you know, those options as well. In addition to that, uh, what we've done is uh, something that's an industry first. Uh, we have a smart date pickup. So instead of you having to fumble around and trying to figure out when Memorial Day is on Google and then feeding that, those dates into uh, your favorite travel search site, you can just tap that, uh, and it fills in the Memorial Day travel dates for you. So a, an easy, smart date pickup. For each of these destinations, if you're not ready to make a booking yet, uh, you can actually save uh, these places to your bucket list. Uh, so this is just a collection of you know, your own places that you want to go to sometime in the future. And once you do that, we actually start tracking prices to all of these places. So for example, if I go back to uh, Miami, now here I can uh, tap the heart on the bottom right. And what it does is it, it'll start tracking prices for Miami for me. And I'll get push notification or email alerts letting me know when price is wrong. So uh, that's the app. Uh, any questions? Yes. Uh, like, what is the, um, how are you going to have to make money from it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to make money through any bookings that go through the app. Uh, we've started with flights because that's sort of the first thing that people think about when they start planning travel. Uh, but we'll be adding hotels as well. So <coughs> flights and hotels, and then gradually we will expand to car rentals, uh, tours and activities, and all that. Yes? So it seems to be for point-to-point -point destinations. Uh, do you cover journeys? So like, you know, taking the, the, the uh, Canadian Rockies, for example, you know, going through a range of uh, provinces and then seeing things instead of going from one place to the other. Uh, we don't do that right now. Uh, these are all uh, return round trip tickets uh, from one destination to the other, but uh, that's a feature that we uh, get requested all the time as well. Yes. 
Jadi kopi dia orang kaya tu abu tu orang something like that that tu dia online tu dia SEC as for um price competition. So the question was, can we compete uh, on price uh, with Expedia and Kayak and some of these uh, online travel agencies? So uh, the prices that we show are comparable to uh, anything else that you would see uh, on any of these other apps as well. So uh, when it comes to flights, uh, flight is more of a commodity. You can from pretty much get the same uh, flight prices anywhere. But uh, where we'll be able to compete more effectively is uh, hotels. So that's something that's on our roadmap that will be coming out pretty soon. Question here. Abhishek, can you share some of the kind of usage numbers, adoption, early feedback? Because uh, it sounds like you're live in the App Store already, right? Right. Yeah, so we're live in the App Store. Uh, please download it, check it out, let us know what you think. Uh, we have about uh, 20,000 downloads so far, and uh, we've directed over $1.5 million of bookings to our travel partners. Um, and the way we keep people engaged, because if you think about travel, it's not something that people do on a day-to-day -day basis. So the way we keep them engaged is by sending you push notification and email alerts uh, when prices drop uh, to places that you care about. And we've seen about 25% email open rate, which is higher than the industry average of 15%. Um, yes? What type of time range do you give with those push notifications? Because you know, is it going to be dropping in a week where I could actually plan for this, or is it <coughs> dropped today, which would be you know, illogical for me to plan for that? Right, uh, so we actually honor whatever dates you've set up in the app and okay. try to give you push notifications for those dates. Uh, if you don't find something, then we obviously give you something with enough lead time, maybe at least two to three, three weeks in advance. So these are pre, like, these are pre-planned travel um, arrangements, and then you're giving push notifications on those <laughs> specific dates. On so have, right. Okay, so they have right. to program them in there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Is this international? Uh, yes, it can be used globally. So you can set your home airport and currency to whatever. I have it set to San Francisco right now. But uh, I can set my home airport to uh, whatever the city I want, uh, currency to whatever else I want, and then you can, you can use it anywhere. Any other last questions? All right. Thank you, Abhishek. Thank, Thank you, you very much, guys.